Hi friends, this is the Nero Research and welcome to the part number 3 of Cryptocurrency Trading Bot Tutorial. This video will be dedicated to dataset preparation. Dataset actually is a set of data in some machine readable format like JSON, XML or CSV that we will use for our strategy backtesting. And depending on the strategy, dataset may contain candle open high close low information and volume data, history of trades or order work data. Because our strategy is Blade Runner, we will use only OHCL data with volume. In the previous video I have prepared our development environment. I have installed a operating system, Node.js, Python and so on. And I will use today the development environment to prepare datasets. Unfortunately, not all exchanges provide candlestick historical data. As an example, I will use Bitfinex, but I recommend you to pull data from all other exchanges too. I have opened Bitfinex API documentation, and candlestick historical data is provided by API version 2 Candles method. As a parameter to this method, you must provide pair Bitcoin to US dollar in this example and a time frame, one minute chart. As other time frame parameters, you can provide 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 1 hour, 1 day, or even 1 month. As a response, you will receive following information Unix timestamp open, close, high, low values of the candle and of course volume within a, that period of time. If you copy and paste this URL into your browser, like I did here, you will see how it works. Here we have our Unix timestamp, open, close, high, low value and volume information. The only problem of the output of this method is that the output is limited to only 100 candles. So we need to play with the method to get more information. Here are our tasks for today. So today we need to prepare OECL datasets for 1, 5 and 30 minute charts for Ethereum, Dash and Monero from the beginning of this year. This task can be split into smaller tasks, like pull data from the exchange and save data in JSON format. So let's start coding. Firstly, we need to import request library. This library is used for HTTP POST and GET requests. Also I have created some variables for our input parameters, like start date. This is actually the Unix time frame of January the 1st, 2017, multiplied by 1000. Also, I create pair and time frame variable. And this is our final data array. Also, I have copied from the Bitfinex API page the URL for pulling data, historical data and inserted our parameter variables here. So let's make some code that will pull this data from the exchange. Firstly, we need to pull the data from the exchange with the requests.get command. As a parameter of this command, we will provide our URL. And secondly, we need to convert our output into the JSON format. We can do this with error.json command. Let's print our final data to see how it works. Let's save the file. Our file name is dataset.py, so let's try to execute it. Python 3 dataset file. Okay, we have received some data. That is good for the beginning. So let's modify our request to get data 
from the January the test. We need to add several extra parameters. Fest is a start, our start date actually. Also we need to change the output order. So we need to inverse it to get old values first and new values last. And we'll need to increase the limit to the maximum of 1000 candles. Let's do this. We need to add a question mark and put our parameters. We'll start with the sort equals to 1 and limit equals to 1000 and start equals to and input our start date but in a string format so we need string start date let's execute our request again and see how it works great we don't have any error and it works ok so let's work further 1000 candles is still not enough for our web testing so my idea is to run this request multiple times and change start date parameter. Let's see how it works. Let's create a loop. In range. Let's run it 100 times. Leave this parameter unchanged. And instead of final data, we'll create some temp data array. So result of our request will be put in our temp data variable. And this temp data will be merged with our final data array. So our final data equals final data plus temp data. Start date update is a little bit tricky. New start date must be equal to the Unix timestamp of the last candle from the request output shifted by one period. So our period is one minute currently, so the Unix timestamp must be shifted by 60 seconds. Let's show how it works. Start date equals to the last candle of the temp data output so it would be 10 data then 10 data minus 1 this is our last candle from the 10 data and we'll take the first element of the array with zero index here currently we have our unix time stamp in milliseconds of the last candle and we need to add a shift. One period shift is 60,000 milliseconds. Here it is. Unfortunately, Bitfinex has a limited number of HTTP requests per second. Current limit is 90 requests per minute. So we need to add some delay in order to deal with that. Let's import time library and add one second delay in the end of the loop. Time sleep one second. Actually, we are ready to run the code by, but I want to add some informative messages. Like current time. and the length of temp data. Also I want to see the length of final data array. Ok, we are ready. Save and run. I have received an error because I have incorrectly closed parentheses when I updated the start date. Let's fix it. Okay, I guess it, everything is fixed. And let's run code again.
Okay, here we have another problem. Because we can convert integer to string implicitly. Let's fix that too. We need to convert this integer value into string in the following method. Okay, let's try again. Finally it works. As you see we have batches that include 1000 candles and run the loop every one second. I will pause the video and will continue when the, our Python script will be executed completely. Script is executed and we have 100k 1 minute candles in our final data array. The only thing we need to do is to save our final array into JSON file. Let's do that. Let's create our file and we'll call it the fix because we receive data from the Finex. Add a pair name and add time frame. and json extension json let's open file for writing and as file f.write and we'll write our final data array as three this is it let's save and run the script again I have an error again, because I forgot about quotation marks about around the W. So let's fix it. Save and run code again. I have created one minute data sets for all three pairs we need. Let's look in inside one of them. Let's look inside dash. As you see, it contains candlestick information in the format we need, like timestamp, open, close, high, low, and volume. Let's repeat this exercise for 5 minute and 30 minute time frame. We need to change time frame parameter and we need to manually update start date. It must be 5 multiplied by 60 and multiplied by 1000. Hit save and we will run this code for Monero. And let's run it. I have received an error again because our index is out of the range. We need to receive, reduce this range to some smaller number. Let it be 40. And run code again. I have prepared 9 data sets for all 3 required time frames. 1 minute, 5 minutes and 30 minutes. And for all needed pairs. Dash, Ethereum, and Monero. 5 minutes and 30 minutes data sets added in the same way as I did 1 minute. Let's go to Trello and track our progress. Actually today we have completed both tasks. We have pulled data from the exchange and saved the data into JSON file. So let's move tasks into done. Oops. This is all for today. In the next video we'll start building our trading bot. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!